horror author William Patterson, a.k.a. Eric Morris. And welcome to my world. So sit back and experience a new dimension in talk. And make sure to have your lucky cup of coffee here because this it is the coffee blog. Yes, it does. First thing in the morning, I pour myself a cup. It, it helps me get myself going. It helps to wake me Goran scares everybody, and welcome to the coffee vlog. Sippy sippy. <sighs> Alrighty. So, anyways, uh, for this uh, William Patterson coffee vlog, I am going to be answering a little piece of fan mail that I got on my uh, public uh, person page on uh, Facebook, my William Patterson, Eric Morris uh, public figure page. Anyways, yeah, this uh, note comes from a minion of a former associate of mine, very short-lived associate, a lady who was going to be doing a uh, podcast for the Wolfpack podcast, but turned out I fired her just before I was going to start the radio show with her because she was a Fucking Looney Tune. Anyways, yeah, this uh, minion belongs to a certain Lady Asland, a.k.a. Anitra De Laurento. Anyways, uh, this uh, person's name is John Poot or Prick or Dick, uh, you know. I can't really make it out, um, you know, these these poor, sad, old eyes of mine. But anyways, I'm just going to call him Mr. Dick. Anyways, Mr. Dick goes and writes this. I heard your vlog. Not sure what that is, but could you you could use some pointers from Lady Aslan on how to speak clear and not be so negative. All you do was fuss, and why did you say Folgers so much? Well, I can answer that. I said Folgers so much because... That is, you know, it's the coffee vlog, and I'm drinking Folgers, you stupid little fuck. That's why. Sippy, sippy. That's what I drink. Folgers. In answer to that. Also, I'm not always negative. You know, I mean, you know, if the subject matter is negative, then yes, there is a negative spin on it. But I talk about a lot of things. I talk about my books. I talk about all kinds of different things on the coffee vlog. So not always negative. You just seem to interpret it because you probably watched one vlog and made a judgment. <laughs> The best thing that happened was Dr. Blood and Lady Aslan meeting. You should ask them for help on what you do. Uh, no. The fact is that I have been blogging 
podcasting and vlogging longer than Dr. Blood and Lady Aslan. And my fans and I believe I do fine. They are professional and do this long time. Yeah, you're you're really showing your intelligence here. Um let me see. Uh I've been doing uh podcasting for eight years. How long's Lady Aslan been doing it? Uh I don't know, but I don't think it's been eight years. And the thing is, you know, I've actually listened to Lady Aslan's podcast. Lady Aslan doesn't even hardly even talk on her own podcast. All the other people do all the talking. She is, you know, where, where the fuck is she? Professional? I mean, she's fucking silent, you dickwad. Give me a fucking break. <laughs> what, what a fucking joke that is. Well, anyways, let's continue the, with this incredibly intelligent uh, letter that I got. I look up the Friday. The thirteenth books, and no one knows you, and I could not verify you know any of these people. Uh, well, how are you, you know, oh yeah, yeah, I, I, you know, you can't even fucking spell Friday the 13th. So, how, how are you going to have the intelligence to actually go and look up these people, and why would these people want to fucking talk to an ignorant turd like you? I mean, give me a fucking break. You can't even get simple sentence structure going. Oh, my fucking God. <coughs> Excuse me. Why are you not part of Friday the 13th documentary if you so big? Uh, ask the dickwads that do the Friday the 13th documentaries. I've been asked a half dozen times to be on, on these, and these fucking dickwads drop the ball. It's not that I am not asked, it's that they don't do the interviews. So, that is why I'm not in the... The documentaries. And, uh, you know, I never said I was so big. I mean, I'm an author. I wrote books based on Friday the 13th. Actually, my books were the first original novels based on the Friday the 13th uh, films. You know, before my books, all there was was adaptations of the screenplays. So that's important. That's an important piece of history in Friday the 13th. Also, my books are extremely popular. People are paying shitloads of dollars. Hell. Uh, towards the end of 2014, uh, a whole bunch, you know, a bunch of my books, all you know, all four of them were sold in auction in Scotland for £2,000 each to a certain gentleman. And, by the way, the uh, gentleman who actually uh, got those books is going to be coming to Martinsville 
Horror Fest so that I can sign these books because he is a fan of my books. He read them when he was a child and he is having me sign these books so that he can pass them on to his kid so that his kid can read them. That's why I'm so big is because I have fans and the fans love my work. The fans go out of their way to actually, after they've read the, the books as a children, they come back and they buy the books as adults because they, they lost them uh, years ago so that they can have them again in their collections. That's why Mr. John Dick or Poot or whatever the fuck your name is. So anyways, you know, that's, that's, that's his, um, that's his letter. Now, I want to tell you something, Mr. John Poot, about your wonderful Lady Aslan. Your fucking uh, mistress, Lady Aslan, is a fucking nutcase. She is a bipolar fucking nutty bitch. You want to know why I say that? Because three, you know, what was it? No, two years ago. Two years ago. Yeah, now I remember. It was two years ago. She came to me. She had gotten kicked off of her uh, podcast that she was on, and she was came to me because she was all upset because she had all these interviews that she had set up, and she she had lost her podcast, so she was going to disappoint all these people. So me, being the wonderful person that I am. I told her, oh, well, I, I will, uh, you know, I will start up uh, a podcast for you. You know, I mean, shoot, you know, I've already got a full uh, bunch of podcasts, but I can put you on on Monday. And you can uh, do, your, do your own podcast and you can do those interviews. I mean, it can be for a short time or you can continue with it. And she was all happy, and we set up this thing. We were sitting there for hours uh, after she talked to me, sit, talking about how we want, wanted to set this up. Then the thing is, the next day, she comes on and starts calling me an asshole, starts, starts saying that I pushed her into this, and just calls me every fucking name in the book. And I'm like, what the hell? And then the next day, she's contacting me and she's going, oh, you know, oh, well, I, you know, I'm so thankful to you for, for helping me out and all this. And I've got all these wonderful people lined up and all this. And you know, oh, it's going to be wonderful. I mean, I'll, you know, I'll only do it as long as I, you know, I have these these people that I, that I need to interview. And, I, you know, I was like, okay, fine, fine. You know, and, you know, it was like, oh, well, you know, I was just a little nervous and all this. That's why I got a little angry. And anyway, so she was all nice. And then the next day she's calling me a pig again. and. For three weeks, she did this over and over again, every fucking other day, going manic and fucking calling me every name in the fucking book. Finally, I got tired, and I said, you know what? I've had enough of this. I'm tired of being beaten around and played around and all this, you know. Go someplace else. So, she starts talking shit about me. I fucking tried to help her. I fucking tried. I tried to give her a fucking podcast 
she she's fucking being a manic piece of shit and fucking going back and forth on me. And you know what what I'm not I shouldn't fucking fire her because of that. Give me a fucking break. I got tired of it. So anyway, she's calling me all this shit. Uh her friends are giving me shit too. That happened for about a month and a half. Then she disappeared. Well, anyways, later on in 2014, this is this is almost a year and a half later. I had Debbie Roshan on my show. Debbie had asked me to bring her on because she wanted to promote uh, her movie uh, Tales of Poe and talk about her film that she was working on, Model Hunger. Well, anyway, so I brought her on the show and I hear from my buddy Dean Charles, a.k.a. Dr. Blood, that Anitra's going nuts and fucking uh, saying that I stole her guest. That she had uh, Debbie Roshan on her show and then Debbie jumped over to my show. So, you know, oh, well, I'm, you know, I'm the first one to have the show and, and he's just uh, playing... You know, he's just stealing my my guest and all that. Oh, give me a fucking break. Debbie Roshan and I have been friends for years. And Debbie periodically asks to come on my podcast when she wants to promote something. Or talk about an issue that she wants to talk about or something. And I'm perfectly happy. She's a member of the Wolf Pack. That's right. Debbie Roshan is a member of the Wolf Pack. So she has the option to come on my podcast anytime she damn well pleases. So Lady Aslan was being a fucking nutcase again. So, Mr. John Poot or Dick or prick or whatever the fuck your name is you take that and you go back to your uh mistress and be your sheepish little minion self stay off my fucking email for my public page stay away from me and you tell your mistress to stay away from me because i don't want to have anything to do with her. She's a nutcase. She's a fucking manic fucking mental case who needs a fucking doctor. And that's all I've got to say on this. So anyways, Howlies. Uh, oh, also, another thing. Uh... You know, he talked uh, talked about uh, the fact that uh, I call people Howleys. And that's, and, oh, well, you know, I stole the Howleys from Lady Al Aslan. Give me a fucking break. No. I started calling my fans Howleys because I got it from my YouTube friends. My friend Graveyard Girl, who calls her fan Swamp Family. My friend uh, Black Friday, who calls her fans Belfry Bats. And my YouTube friend McJuggernaugets, who calls his fans Juggies. That's where I got the idea of calling my fans Howleys. Not from Lady Asland. I wouldn't take anything from that nutcase. So anyways, that's uh, the last on this. Because, you know, 
that's just insanity. That's just bullshit. And Anitra DiLorenzo needs to get her brain fixed. Seriously. So anyways, you know, that's uh, my uh, coffee vlog for this time. You know, keep America strong. Watch horror films. And drink your coffee. You are, you are not, not ego, ego cases. cases. You, you are, are not sheep. sheep. You, you are, are wolf pack. pack.